Thank you for watching the sauce once again, my channel Troy West here. I appreciate everybody for being so patient with me. Um, this is video 47 of God of War Ragnarok. Um, as you see, I haven't been doing a lot of content lately. Um, made a big move, um, so I'm still trying to, excuse me, trying to settle in. So it's been tough to do videos. I've been trying to do the blog. I did the blog last Saturday. Plan on doing another one this weekend. So uh, definitely join me Saturday morning um, for that. As always, uh, a lot of stuff going on in the sports, especially NBA. NBA going to start dominating the blog uh, with the NFL start to slow down, even though the NFL about to heat up with the franchise tags and the league year starting and everything else um, within the next week. So. Uh, we're still having that for NFL news probably all year round. Uh, baseball heating up. World Baseball Classic starts, I think, this week. Um, so, uh, uh, a lot of stuff to talk about, Saturday. Um, have been doing a lot of uh, videos. Um, I tried to do a Last of Us video, but uh, it didn't work out too well. I got stuck um, in the area, in this area, uh, with. Um, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, with Abby, you know, that Abby is the antagonist. Who's the, uh, yeah, I hate what I get like this, but I can't remember. Ellie, there we go. Um, Last of Us Part 2. Um, so, uh, I'll try to do that maybe later on today. Um, but this, uh, of course, we free roaming. Um, as Ragnarok has been taken down. I mean, it's been, uh, it's completed. So, um, Faye has now joined Kratos as they go around doing little side missions and stuff. So that's what I've been doing the last few videos. Like I said, it's video 47, so we've done a lot of uh, God of War, Ragnarok. So I'll stay tuned for more. Um, uh, this video, what we was doing? We was doing, uh, we're trying to get to this. Uh, to this task here um, to hopefully be going the right way the orb for uh, the lady that fixes our stuff now so um, but uh, we go keep rolling we just go play as freelance so uh, we might have doing some of the things we will but uh, I appreciate you guys so much for being patient hopefully we uh, get a schedule down um, but do it probably do the early part of the week it'll be harder cuz uh um, Just things people know where I am and then if I do start working um, The schedule could change as well um, The blog schedule could change cuz uh, I'm pretty much trying to work anytime I can so um, Like I said, I might have to change like for example change it to the border to at night uh, Work around you know things so um but i appreciate you guys um so much hopefully i'm able to find work soon trying to find work here in new jersey where i am so um that's been the main task um and i've been busy with that so that's another reason why it's done videos but uh i got a little free time so i want to knock this video out i might do a sonic video sonic um the hedgehog 3 um classic mode uh part 2 so I might be doing a video of that as well. But uh, enough rambling. Let's get into the video. I'm Troy West. Said. Thank you for watching the Sports of Gaming channel. Um, I don't plan on giving up the channel. I thought about taking a break. But uh, I probably just come do videos here and there. Pop, I pop in and out. And try to at least do the blog every week. So that's my plan for right now. Uh, enjoy the video guys. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for the support. Um, peace and love always. Oh, 
weren't always this ravenous. The ecosystem, it's out of balance. All is desolation, a fitting fate. Astrid. Spirit. No. Freya, you returned. Astrid, what happened to you? To your garden? The anger you are. My life's work rotted. My monument to your glory reduced to this. I am sorry, my queen. You need never apologize to me, old friend. I swore to keep this garden in bloom until it returned. To live forever amongst its putrescence, a just punishment. I will return, Astrid. Kratos, we purge this garden of poison. Why? The Earth is a reflection of those who tend it. So long as the land is plagued, her soul will be as well. We have to destroy the totems. They're poisoning Astrid's garden.
find that orb yet? Good thing you learned the runes, brother. job you did at Ragnarok, General. Wish I could have been there to see you and Sindri take damn Thor and Odin. That is not what happened. Yeah, maybe not, but it's the story I like best. Important thing is, Odin's paid in full for what he did to Brock. I know it doesn't fix what's broke, but it ain't nothing. My soul cannot rest until they are at rest. What is wrong? I died. And you will help me. Of course, Gulhil. But to what end? When the Einherjar came, we needed a way to fight back. I suggested. Say them, Legend. I understand your desperation, but... That was foolish. Clearly. I was lucky enough to be murdered before my mind could be corrupted, as theirs did. You must free them. Of course. Say their magic corrupts so ruthlessly. Those poor souls must be in agony. Then we shall give them death. Alka! 
My friend's souls are still twisted, aren't they? Give them the freedom of death.
Brother, in my travels, I heard of a great battle in your homeland, at a place called the Gates of Fire. The Hard Gates. You were there? No. Is that regret in your voice? I did regret not dying there for many years, but no longer. Seems like a good time to get back to that story you asked for, brother. One summer, a local laird of renowned eccentricity chose to sequester himself with a small coterie of kinsmen and followers. The aim of their woodland retreat was to achieve enlightenment through study and discipline. They took oaths to brook no distractions until they became wise men. Distractions? Ah, women, drink. Mostly women. As you can imagine, things deteriorated quickly. By autumn, tempers were frayed and wisdom remained in short supply. One day, I watched as the laird and his brother took their hunt. There they found, at the banks of a river, a lady as fair as any they'd left behind. She pleads for their assistance for fear the currents would carry her off if she tried to cross. Ah, but enough of that for now. Waterfalls, we're close. There should be a gate up ahead. That's quite a gate. Don't suppose you know a way through. The Pilgrim Gate. I can open it. We just need to find the right vantage point. As I was saying about the laird and his brother, all summer they'd upheld their oath to avoid the touch of woman. Yet here before them stands a fair maiden in need of their help to cross the river. The laird doesn't miss a beat. He hoists her onto his shoulders, carries her across, sets her down, doffs his cap, and fords back across to his brother, who is dumbfounded, can't even bring himself to speak. The day stretches on, the laird carries on hunting, and his brother quietly gnashes his teeth down to powder. Finally, the dam breaks. Brother, he cries, how could you do it after everything we've sacrificed? How could you break your vow like it was nothing, carrying that lass on your shoulders like you were a Shetland pony? The laird just smiles. 
Brother, I sent that lass down across the river. Tis you that carries her still. <laughs> oh, I got a chuckle. A rare day indeed. Meeting the Lady of the Forge really brought back some memories. I thought it was only in my homeland you'd see such things. Mermaids who forge weapons. Aye. I remember very fondly a late nymph called Nimue. Very talented with a sword. Mumia. I meant that literally. Shame on you. Please. She made the best swords in all the Isles something. and had big dr Now, how do we get up there, I wonder? We can't. Not with those vines in the way. Doesn't look like we can reach it from down here. armor piece bearing Lunda's brand. Shame it's broken. Nice bit of work otherwise. Then why leave it? You suspicious of her, brother? If the orb she seeks is important, she would not have left it behind. Ah, uh, perhaps. Something else I recall about that Greek play I mentioned, if you won't take offense at the critique. As a work of performance, it consisted almost entirely of watching people give speeches and receive terrible news. Might have been nice to see more events dramatized instead of described. 
It is Greek tradition for a story to unfold in a single time and place uninterrupted. It is more clear. If you say so. Wanna talk first, Bill? As long as they still haunt this realm, so will I.
My friends' souls are still twisted, aren't they? Give them the freedom of death. So, what's it like, being back? Like I haven't come back at all. Everything's changed. I'm a stranger here. I know the feeling. The runic word appeared over there. See it? Mecking. We should be able to reach the wedding site now. Brother, I've been meaning to ask. Your homeland. I've heard the gods there wielded every flavor of power you could imagine. Lightning, fire, the whole lot. As did I, for many years. Oh. Any chance you could recall some of that magic? No. I have tried. Magic is bound to the Earth. When your homeland died, your powers probably went with it. Ah. Uh, well, probably for the best. Let the past stay in the past, and all that. Hmm. The closer we get, the more tightness grows in my chest. You're sure you want to continue? Confronting the past comes with a price. It must be done. I've lived with this pain far too long. If you can believe it. We were happy once. For a time, foolishly believed the peace would last. Perhaps that was my mistake. All I wanted was to protect my family. There is no shame in that. I failed all the same. Those scrawlings must be Sather nearby. Lunda's or Be cautious. We know not what it does. You really think she'd send us to get the bloody thing if it was going to kill us? Let's just take it back to her. Stop! 
More safer markings. Goonhild's companions can't be that far ahead. Just curious, brother. Why don't you like riddles? They are frivolous. They encourage lateral thinking. Listen, there are three doors before you. One contains a pit of spikes, one a dragon, and one a pair of lions that haven't been fed in weeks. Which door do you open? Hmm. The first. Pit of spikes is easily avoided. Ah, you should pick the third, because lions that haven't been fed in weeks would be dead! Eh? I like this riddle. Ah, oh, now that face! You got something for me, don't ya? Lunda. Right. Business time. Here. Oh, well, thank you so much. Elsa's been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. It's her favorite toy. What? You should see the way she plays with this thing. Tail wags so hard, I'm afraid it's gonna wag me. I'll keep it for the next time I see her. Now, if you could find the rest of my armor set I left out there, I'll repair it for you. Free of charge, even. Good thing you were so cautious, brother. Quiet. He's right, Mimir. Show respect. The squeaky toy could have been the death of us all. And it nearly was. Do not laugh. That's hard not to, brother. Try. Okay. Okay. Thanks for grabbing that for us. <laughs> 